So you guys were all into Twilight, we were, and you were writing... We were like, writing fan fiction. I, I think people come into the fandom for different reasons. Some of them were really, really into Twilight, and they wanted more, and some people like didn't like the last book, and they wanted to redo it. So, I mean, there's just a million reasons why people came in, but that's uh-huh. how we met. And so... You were fans of each other's work, mm-hmm. or and yeah. you decided there to start writing together, or we how did that Comic-Con. come about? So I had a panel. I put together a panel on fan works for San Diego Comic Con, and Christina had a really huge fic at the time called The Office, which had nothing to do with Twilight. It was just the names. Okay. They were just like banging everywhere, and everybody loved the story for obvious reasons. And so <sighs> right? she came Who out to love banging. Yeah, she came out to California, and we met in person. We we're like, let's write together. So we wrote a one shot. Which is like a just one chapter fic, and it did well. And we're like, let's write a book. Like it's so easy. Let's just write a book. Little did we know. And off it went. <laughs> and, but the yeah. first book we wrote was terrible. Well, the first book that we <laughs> where is it? Can we read it? No, no. So we read it? The first book we finished, we got our agent with, but that was like after nine months, you know, of yeah. querying. But the first At book least. that we started, we thought, well, we're going to be serious writers, so let's write something serious. And we wrote this d- really depressing, angsty. Just terrible thing about this widow and blood. And, and anybody who knows us knows we are like the least serious people you'll ever meet in your life. And so one day we were like, what the hell are we doing? We don't, we don't want to write. What's wrong? This is clearly not what we should be doing. Yeah. So then we wrote this young adult book about skinny pink and kissing and superpowers. And we're like, Yay! this is it. So, and that's how we got our agent. That's cool. What happened to that book? So that book is we're holding because... Pretty much the only person selling good numbers with mythology is Rick Riordan. <laughs> so, oh, really? so it is based it ha- in based, Greek mythology? It's based, okay. yeah. And so we're kind of waiting to see when that's going to come back. And then we have it ready just to be like, But it's like, our, it's like our favorite thing yeah. we've probably ever written. I love that book yeah. so much. Oh, wow. So, but what's cool. funny is we were selling, so we had another YA Sublime, which came out last year, but that was out with editors. And Fifty Shades had just come out. And everyone was like, when is... Christina going to publish The Office because as you know Fifty Shades came from the Twilight fandom and The Office was out several months before Fifty Sh- Master of the Universe started mm-hmm. so people were trying to get her to publish it trying to publish it as their own trying to rewrite it as a copycat and finally we said well let's just edit it put it up online for free so that nobody you know does that and our agent read it the reworked version and was like no 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 this is way too different. Let's just see if anyone bites. Oh, okay. So it went out to editors, and it sold to Simon & Schuster in like 12 hours. That was Beautiful Bastard. That's wonderful. And that launched a series, the Beautiful Bastard series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And only the, only, only the first one had any link to fi- fan fiction, so... 